Cuyahoga County Court of Common Pleas Judge Michael Estrade this year struck down the city's ban on new oil and gas uh, drilling and the controversy is swirling over the wells and their environmental impacts. Are you in favor of oil and gas drilling? What can the city do about this issue? Well, with regard to the oil and gas wells, um, we do have many of them currently in our city today. Uh, many of them are functioning. Others seem to be in a holding pattern. Um, with the drop in gas prices, I'm not hearing a lot of interest in new wells at this point, but that doesn't mean that they couldn't come forward. My family has land in southern Ohio. We've had oil wells for many years, responsibly drilled wells that have not harmed the environment. I would be extremely concerned with any oil wells that are what you call fracked. That's a um, rather common practice now. But responsible drilling, it's been going on for years. And what I, I'm also concerned with is the the residents and the neighborhoods around them. We wanna make sure that the neighborhoods still have that family feel. This is not a place for oil well, my, oil well fields to be placed. This is a city resident. They need to be thought through very carefully. Sure. Uh, I am <clears throat> against uh, any residential oil drilling or gas drilling, uh, either one. Uh, the fracking, obviously is a fairly new uh, practice with seemingly not uh, perfect results uh, environmentally. Um, it just, in my opinion, just in resi residential areas, it has no place really. Um, when it's done in it's, you know, properties of five, 10, 15 acres, whatever, done responsibly outside of a residential town, then that's a different thing. But you know, the residents are pretty clear that they don't want it. You know, they voted in that Bill of Rights that tried to strike it down, which obviously got overturned then. Um, but they've been pretty clear with that they don't really want this in our city, and I tend to agree with them. And I think trying to fight it, unfortunately, would be a very expensive cause that, uh, in talking with a couple of different lawyers, would just net us with the same result, that we're not going to get anywhere. It's, it, the state has basically overridden and taken away the right of the city to, to government the, the, the drilling in their cities. I don't believe in any oil and gas drilling in, our, especially in our, our uh, developments within the city. People build homes in these fine developments, and, and I think that they expect um, not to be out in the rural country where something like that might be a little more acceptable. Um, I've been through this issue over the years uh, in the position of mayor and as councilman, and it's been certainly <coughs> a hot topic. It's a very difficult question because the state has taken away our right to be able to control and it's much more than just even the oil and gas well drilling. It's the fact that the state has removed us from being able to control our destiny and that I have a problem with and that is something that I continue to work at to strive to get back that home rule for our municipalities so that we can determine our destiny, not the state of Ohio. We here have our own individual footprint and we like to keep it that way. And uh, the gas and oil well drilling uh, was pulled away from our ability to be able to control that. And I think it's caused a lot of dissension and it's caused a lot of, it's caused some environmental damage in some cases. And we need to be able to get that control back. It's just very fortunate right now that the price of gas and oil has stopped that from happening. With over 90 active wells in the city, we've become the target. Thank you. Ms. Malnick? I would agree with Mr. Goodwin. You know, our hands as a city government are tied, but we have been fighting for our residents of Broadview Heights, whether it's supporting their efforts in the Bill of Rights or going to court over this issue. Glenn and I have certainly been to bat over that issue. When this really became a hot topic in the city of Broadview Heights around 2007, 2009, um, Joe and I were one of the first council people on, in the city of Broadview Heights to vote against the drilling. And it's not so much about whether it's right or what it's wrong, or, or if it's wrong. My opinion is residents should have the vote and an opinion on what happens on their property. When your neighbor decides to put a well in their yard, which right now by law they can, you're, you have no rights. 
they can put it up very close to your property line and in the beginning right up to it. Now uh, council has fought for setbacks and we are trying to work with drillers to try to add buffer zones <coughs> if possible or not even have them in the area. I think what council needs to continue to do is educate residents, working with groups like Madion to inform residents what they're really getting into. Joe and I, for a number of years, uh, have monthly meetings with residents, and I'm sure he can attest to this. We would have residents come and talk to us and tell us that they signed up for these uh, leases, but it wasn't exactly what they thought it was going to be. Mr. Price. Thank you. Um, let me first not be a hypocrite. I don't think there's a person in this room that doesn't use natural gas. So it is something that we all do consume, and it is a need in the country. The issue is this, the House Bill 278 in 2004 created uh, a lot of things. It, it took away home rule, as has been mentioned, but key thing, a very key thing is it created an entity called forced mandatory pooling, right. and it takes even more rights away from the individual now. So what it has done is created and pitted neighbor against neighbor, and that's what, as council members, we've, had to got, we've gotten in between these arguments and these debates. If someone owns 20 uh, acres of land, God bless them, and they want to put it in the middle and they don't bother their neighbors, let them do it. But it's when you divide a community and you create grief and you create worry and anguish over this. The, the uh, House Bill 278 hurt a lot of people in Northeast Ohio. What this state does not realize is basically 85% of the gas that is pulled from this state comes from Northeast Ohio. During that period, and, and I think Brad mentioned 80, 90 some wells, during that period, 15% of all new gas wells being drilled in the state were in Broadview Heights, one community, 15%. Where else do you get that kind of proliferation? It has been a fight. House Bill 278 also has now damaged the uh, House, the uh, Voters' Bill of Right. My God, we the people. Why do we no longer have we the people in this country? What a dirtbag legislature and, and, and a, a ruling from a, from a judge to take away my rights to say no. So with that, um, I have a, a lot of problems with gas wells in regards to that. So thanks for asking that question tonight. I understand. Um, does anybody have any response to any of the, the answers? All right, well, we'll move on to the next question. 